everybody, welcome to my channel, Solar Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten. I have your weekly money flow energy reading, um, pick a pile reading for you um, already. So just uh, go ahead and tune in to uh, the pile that you're um, that is uh, capturing your attention. We have the Lapis Luzi with the Tarot of the New Vision deck. We have the um, the Emerald, the Raw Cut Emerald with the Everyday Witch Tarot. We have the Clear Quartz here over the Will of the Year Tarot deck. And we have a, a piece of Citrine over the Spiral Tarot deck. So go ahead and tune in and allow yourself to um, feel the vibration of which pile is right for you. And um, then just look down in the comment section and you'll see a timestamp to the crystal reading for you and you can get your money flow reading from there thank you so much for taking time to uh, click on the like button to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to join me on patreon and contribute to the flow of the channel keeping the, the channel going you can also donate there's a donate button on the home page i I appreciate everyone who has done so. Thank you so much for keeping this channel alive. And make sure to share my links with your friends. Don't forget to partake in um, the video that I will be um, uh, uh, posting on the end of this video. It's a, a Lakshmi Mantra video that's infused with uh, Prosperity Reiki. It will help increase your money flow, your money vibration. Um, just uh, click on that at the end of this video and um, read the instructions and proceed and watch the money flow in. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and um, I hope you enjoy your reading. Bye. Blessings. Hi, so if you pick the Lapis Luzi, then you um, um, pick the reading with the Tarot of the New Vision deck. <coughs> In today's cards, you've got the Page of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Knight of Swords reversed. So, um... In regards to your uh, your money flow energies and money energies this week, the Page of Pentacles reverse can represent a person or can represent a thing. Okay, could be an energy, could be you, could be someone else. It could be something that you're dealing with. So let's take it from all angles. Since we've got the Hangman here, let's look at it from all angles, and you'll know what resonates for you. So first of all, this could be someone who is. In general, if it's you or someone that you're dealing with, someone who's not ready, maybe they're immature or inexperienced, um, they may not have uh, the resources that they need, education or money, uh, but yet there is a feeling of entitlement here in this energy, and they may not want to work for it or feel that they should have to work for it. There's a sense of entitlement here, and they may not respect the value of a dollar earned. Um, this may be someone that you're dealing with, or a child's energy, or a nephew, or a niece, or um, a, a relative, um, a co-worker, um, an earth sign energy, maybe an air sign. Um, we've got Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, um, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, or even a Pisces energy showing up here today. And then again, it could also be your energy, whoever you are. If it's someone else, they could be looking to you for support or advice, or maybe for some money. And if it's you, you may be looking for... Um, that support advice or money but um, it is being hung up right now okay it's hung up it's in a stagnant place it's not moving and I think you were expecting or they are expecting this money in from this source which could be outside of you um, Okay.
Now the Page of Pentacles can also, so I'm getting kind of, kind of just real quick, I'm getting the feeling that maybe a, ch a child or a youthful energy around you may want some money from you. Uh, maybe they want you to invest in something for them. And I feel like you are on hold or on the fence about that. Um, and maybe that's a good idea because I feel like if that is the case for some of you, then this youthful energy is immature. It's not ready yet. It hasn't shown integrity or that it values the dollar or hard work. Um, and quite honestly, uh, whatever it is they're asking you for, it may be something that is way too fast for them or grown up for them. Um, it may even be a car for some of you, a vehicle, because we have the Knight of Swords. Um, I, I don't think this energy has shown enough growth or maturity yet to handle this responsibility. There's a lack of responsibility here, and maybe they want you to co-sign or some, somehow uh, get into some kind of lease or agreement for them, and I don't think that they're ready for this. Okay, I don't think they've shown that they're ready for this and that you should probably wait. Um, that may be what you're doing and that may be the advice that the universe wants you to receive from this reading. That's one story. Another story is that this could represent um, news, messages, communications, or offers that are practical or that are in relation to money or business. And um, But these this this that you've been waiting for it, but I feel like it's hung up or it's delayed, right? And that may be due to some kind of decision or review process that's happening. Something may be under um, keen observation or analyzation, and that may be what's, what's, what's wrong with that, okay? Hopefully none of you are getting audited. Now, another meaning for this page, when it's upright, could mean a fascination and laser focus upon a subject of interest. But when it's reversed, this focus is much, much scattered. And it could even indicate a loss of interest. <clears throat> In... Um, what you do and that's what's affecting your money flow that's what's causing it to be stagnant so um, I feel like if that's the case for some of you you're way too scattered and you uh, may feel like you're just running around like a chicken with your head cut off doing things for other people excuse me but not getting anywhere. Or maybe you have a goal, um, but it's too diluted. You need more focus. You may need more money. Because right now, you're not able to get anywhere, and that's the problem. Um, maybe a loan is needed to fund your dream or goal, um, but... Before you ask for that loan, I would say do more research, um, present your case in a better way, and show more responsibility, try to pay back some old debts, or something to show that you have integrity, and um, people can go into this feeling like you would follow through with your end of it. And then another story that I'm seeing is that there may be a desire, a personal desire to to show that you're not inadequate, to show that you're you know, I, I think that there's, on a deep personal level, some of you may feel like you're not valuable enough or good enough 
or worthy enough and that is energetically at the heart of what is blocking your money flow so you need to work on valuing yourself and valuing your skills and um, doing some uh, self work there to raise up your self esteem and self belief but mainly your self worth and self value you come and attack it from that direction okay energetically if you want to improve your money flow because you're your own worst enemy because there is a lack of value or a lack consciousness affecting you that needs to be um, transformed you may need some help doing this because with the hangman present here these are deep issues that are hanging you up and then before I forget um, another story that I'm seeing in these cards is maybe there is money held up that you're expecting or a job or something that you're expecting that that you know you've been looking forward to you've been waiting for for a long time the process is still hung up don't get angry there's really nothing you can do but surrender to the situation make peace with it because you may lose your temper right and end up looking really stupid I feel like this page of pentacles is warning you that you could also be in danger of almost like I get a full energy being foolish with your money um, last story I promise the last story that I'm seeing is that you know you want to take responsibility with your money there is an influence of irresponsibility and unrealistic desires to impress influencing your money choices and decisions maybe there's something that you can't afford but you want it maybe you feel it will make you feel more worthy um, you know you're chasing that type of dream and but it's kind of keeping you in this rut okay because you're not spending your money wisely so the cards are telling you that your eyes may be bigger than your stomach and if you can't afford it don't charge it don't charge it don't do that okay because you're just going to dig yourself deeper into a hole into a stuck place that you it's going to be really hard for you to get out of um, in terms of believing you can get out of it okay so don't don't charge it Cut up that card. Don't be distracted by the pretty art, pretty object. That all that glitters is not gold, right? And don't gamble or take any risk unnecessarily this week. Now is not the right time. You are in danger of throwing away your money or even losing your money via theft or fraud. There's another thing I'm telling. I'm here. I'm getting here. Is that we have to beware of computer fraud um, identity um, theft okay you're being told to be careful with your information be careful with your money and whom you give information to okay and maybe you need to guard your money from being manipulated out of your hands okay um, the Knight of Swords represents fast talkers, swindlers, cons, dishonest energy coming in that sweeps your money away. It doesn't bring money in unexpectedly. It, it takes it out unexpectedly. Okay? And um, so be careful with your money and whom you um, invest in or what you're investing in maybe make sure you wait maybe wait wait right now and do more research get adequate information before you jump into something you may feel a manipulation or a pull to get swept up or caught up 
in this energy. Resist it and put up your guard, okay? Uh, whether that's coming from someone younger who's trying to manipulate you into maybe buying them a car or something when they're clearly not ready or responsible enough for it or something like that along those lines or this could be someone who's trying to talk you into buying a car when you can't afford it or something else so um, that is just a weekly reading guys so just be on on your uh, be cautious this week with money don't be impulsive and also guard your information, uh, your identity, your money. You don't have to be paranoid, but be aware that there may be cons and scams coming at you this week. Look at things from all angles and don't um, allow yourself to feel compelled or pressed or urgently compelled to rush and make a decision, right? Because you're going to make a mistake and you're going to throw your money away. And you could, some of you are going to get swindled or conned. Okay? So that's your message. That's really your warning. I hope it's helpful and insightful and um, protects you. All right. So thanks for tuning in. And I'm glad you chose the Lapis Luzi. Uh, make sure to check out my Lakshmi um, mantra video. It's going to be up in this corner at the end of this, um, at the end of this entire video. Um, and with... Uh, by chanting this mantra every day for 40 days, you can increase your money vibration and attract more money into your life. Um, and like you to, in to invite you to please um, partake in that experiment. Um, Lakshmi has uh, come through for me many, many a time. So if you're looking to increase your money vibration, make sure to um, take part in that video. And thanks for clicking on the like button, hitting the subscribe button, uh, button and um, joining me on Patreon um, and uh, contributing to the channel, keeping the channel alive by also sharing my links. And, and if you would like to donate, there's a donate button on the home page. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Hi everyone, so if you chose the Emerald, then um, then you're, we're going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot for your Money Flow Energy Reading for this week of February 10th through the 17th, you got the Page of Wands, the Six of Cups reverse, and the Hangman reverse. So, um, let me just look over your cards. I feel like challenging you this week. Let's start here. Um, you may have some dependent energy upon you. Could be um, family, relatives. Um, older parents or someone something that's um, challenging you it's dependent upon you it could even be past obligations with the six of cups here they require your monetary assistance okay and attention you got you need to take care of this um, something or someone linked to your past but it's a bad past right some something about it is distasteful or you know leaves a bad taste in your mouth and now this energy is taking from you or wants to take from you financially and emotionally it's draining you but you have an obligation right um, to take care of them or this situation to feed to heal it or to support it or to pay it back I feel like you would like to avoid this obligation but you cannot and you should not as you do bear some responsibility um, to this energy to support it or to pay it back okay because you were part of this past and it helped you it gave you some help or support in the past and now it's up to you to return the favor um, and you for some of you, this card could indicate that you're wanting to be more financially independent, perhaps to clear away past debts, or to step out on your own and move out of your safety, a comfort zone, your your home or your hometown, or this work that you've been doing, or even a relationship, whatever that may be for you. And just be on your own and handle your money um, independently and in a better, wiser, more mature fashion than you have in the past. And that could be what's challenging you. All right, And that's um, a perspective that you're going to be at very strongly around the middle of this week.
these are, I feel like these are um, situations, this is the, the, that I've mentioned here, are situations that you should plan on attending to and taking care of, right? But you would maybe rather do something else with the Page of Wands, something more exciting, something more fun with your money, rather than take care of these obligations or others who have hands out, right? Whom I have an obligation to pay back or to take care of. I, I'd much rather do something much more fun and exciting with my money, right? And um, I'm kind of making some plans to do that early in the week, right? Maybe... Um, that's what a story for some of you. And for some of you, you may be ready to embark on a new journey early in the week. Perhaps it's an exciting time um, and you feel inspired um, to pursue a new interest, a goal, a career, a job, or even a person. Um, or you may be doing this, maybe getting involved in a project or a study or something or a new work. And maybe you're doing that with someone. This could represent someone else in your energy field. Maybe a fire sign or a water sign. Fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, we have Pisces here as well in the hangman energy as well as Aquarius. So perhaps in regards to work or business, maybe you're thinking of working um, together with someone on something, and that's inspiring you. Or going somewhere, traveling somewhere, taking a trip rather than dealing with these obligations or other needs that require your attention. I see good news coming in in terms of money. Right? Maybe something that you've been waiting for for a while. The hangman energy is reversed. So you were, you were waiting. There was stagnation in your money flow. And now that's been released. Okay, um, Around the end of the week, you're probably going to get some money. Some, that there's money flow coming in or something that was restricting you or blocking you from going on this new adventure or starting this new thing is... Um, now released or open and there's communication flowing and you're able to set forth on your journey after this time has passed. So right now I guess this page of wands is an intention to move forward when when this arrives. Right? And right now you're thinking of all the fun and the excitement that you can have with this money or with this new thing or adventure venture it's going to be different for all of you okay but I do feel like good news is arriving soon what you've been waiting for what's what may have been taking a long time held up or delayed is finally going to arrive by the end of the week and you're excited about the possibilities planning ahead right now with what you will do when this situation can finally get started. Your advice with this card and this card here I feel is saying try to think long term about how you invest um, with whatever is going to be coming in or allowing you to feel more free mon monetarily. Think long term instead of uh, in terms of short term pleasures. Um, in, uh, and invest your money wisely um, before you start out on this journey or maybe go into it not expecting so much start small and allow yourself to grow over time okay and um, handle matters that need attention because that's going to help clear the way so that you can keep, keep growing and, and um, earning more um, keep up your earning potential. So um, use the money wisely and think long term, not just short term. Okay, so maybe have some fun, but make sure you don't spend it all. Make sure you don't, uh, maybe you budget some for other things that need to be taken care of too. The hangman energy is reversed. It says that, you know, this old stagnant condition affecting your money is finally clearing up. 
you're going to be looking back on the past, a bad past, and I feel approaching it with new enthusiasm um, for your future. So I, I feel like this is a strong energy of what you're needing, what you've been waiting for, is now going to be arriving soon. Just um, be mindful of how you invest it. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for choosing the, the uh, emerald crystal. And we'll see you next week. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please um, become a Patreon subscriber and support the channel financially. Or you may donate. There's a donate button on the home page. If you want to increase your money vibration, I have a unique um, Reiki-infused Lakshmi uh, mantra video that can help increase your money vibration within 40 days. All you have to do is chant along um, with one, one of the recordings, or you can do multiple replays. Um, throughout the day um, for 40 days and you should, should see a shift, a good shift in your money flow. It's worked for me many times and I'd love to hear um, feedback and comments from those of you who are willing to put forth the discipline and try it and see for yourself and get your money flowing. Okay, and it can come in from different directions. It doesn't have to just come in from one. All right, so yeah, thank you for uh, taking part and participating in that. And thank you for becoming a subscriber if you haven't become one already. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, so if you pick the clear quartz and this is your reading, I also pulled some clarifiers from the La Vera Sibilla deck. And today's deck, I am using the Will of the Year Tarot. You have the Two of Swords, clarified by the old lady. You have the Strength Reverse, clarified by the La Namika, female enemy. And you have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Precious Stones. So even though it's a weekly reading, um, early part of the week, mid part of the week, end of the week, um, you can also read it as a full story. Um, so I'm just going to take it in sections. I think I'm going to start here. You have the Six of Cups, right? Six of Cups can represent um, dreams, wishes, things that you're envisioning. Um, and past memories, nostalgia. Uh, so uh, the Six of Cups can be that you're looking back at the past and maybe something or someone from the past is offering you um, some type of business expansion, growth, or some kind of opportunity. This could even be a love interest. Something or someone from your past um, is offering you something valuable, um, financially okay is of great value to you um, or there is focus on something of great value this can also be something that's familiar as well that's happened before possibly even a deja vu or revisiting an old event um, like it's happening all over again I'm just getting a deja vu feeling. So you've been through this before, whatever this is, this week. Um, what's challenging you? you? could be dealing with a Leo. We have this, the uh, Strength card, uh, which could represent a Leo. Um, we also have Six of Cups. We could have a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, or Air, Aquarius, Libra. Gemini energies yeah see a lot of air um, Leo strong possibly even some earth sign energy as well that could be who's challenging you all right so something or someone from the, from the past may offer you a valuable opportunity or make a valuable offer to you or maybe they want to share, want you to share the, your riches or valuables with them. And the reason why I say that is because we have this strength card here in reverse. So...
There's a lack of conf there's confidence when he's upright. There's strength, inner strength, and willpower when he's upright. And taking control of a situation, one's own situation. And you can do that either with brute force or you can do that with compassion. And it's recommended that you do it with compassion. That's the stronger of the two energies. And with this energy, you can overcome your challenges. But this card is reversed. So there's a lack of proper channeling of your energies to take control over a situation that's getting out of control or is out of control. Now this could be someone that you're dealing with, right? I feel I do feel it's another person because we have Lenamika, which is a court card. And but let's talk about the strength reverse. The strength reverse can be a card of personal weakness, weakness in general, an inability to hold oneself back or to restrain oneself, um, having a loss of control. Therefore, I do feel there is a falling into temptation energy here, a strong influence to fall into temptation because you can't hold yourself back. You're irresistibly attracted to this. Um, you can't resist yourself. You can't resist it. You give it all control. And you may be giving this control to someone that you're dealing with, right? Maybe someone from your past or familiar situation. Or to maybe an air sign female or a fire sign male. Either one of these energies I feel are not very trustworthy, okay? Even though she's upright in this deck, she's not nice. And in this deck, he's 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 nothing but a a, a pimp. So, yeah, you know, I'm just using those as um, analogies, but you know that's just the general flair flavor of the energy. So you apply it how it resonates for you. So going back in time, looking to the past for answers and solutions, maybe you're being offered something. Um, an opportunity maybe from something or someone from your past. I feel like you may give in to this energy, right? It has a strong influence over you. You give it all control. It may be that the desire for riches is strong either in you or in them. Okay, and that's the influence. So I'm seeing a lot of different stories. It's just hard to put them all into two words. They all want to be put into words at the same time, and it's too much for me to sort out. I'm just trying to get my head over, head straight with it. So, um, okay. So since this is a money reading, okay, I feel like in terms of money flow. Maybe you're giving into some kind of temptation, middle of the week. You may feel that you don't need to hold yourself back. Maybe you've been held back long enough with this Two of Swords. Maybe so you've gotten some inheritance of money and you're ready to splurge or do something extravagant. Um, something that you've been dreaming of. Maybe you're going to buy yourself something precious. Um, so I could see you flowing, flowing with this message this week. Just beware, right? Beware. You have to love Namika um, that you don't overspend. Another story that I'm seeing is that um, you may not be able to hold yourself back from another who's putting pressure on you to. Um, Give them your money for whatever reason. Maybe you're buying something or maybe they just want it. Um, and I'm getting the story of an online dating scam. I got a scam in another reading, another one of these readings um, this week. And I'm seeing a scam here. Um, be careful of getting scammed online. Maybe you're doing some sort of online dating and um, you think you know someone, they may have you convinced that this is a, 
going to be long term. They're your soulmates, right? But just be aware that this energy that you're dealing with wears a mask. See the mask? So they're not being truthful or honest. You may be getting or feeling strong-armed for your money by someone who's putting pressure on you. Right? They're forcing you. They, they, you kind of feel forced. I see there's conflict here with the Two of Swords. You're experiencing some conflict about it. Right? And then... Um, And then another story that I'm seeing just for the for the for you manifestors out there, I just see you um, refusing to look at um, your current circumstances, and instead you're envisioning wealth, and you're um, putting um, a lot of power and force behind that. Maybe ease up a little bit. Um, I I get it. You fake it till you make it. I get it. Um, but um, you don't want to end up creating through your overexertion resistance to the money flow. Okay, so keep doing the visualization, but loosen up with how it can come in or the amount that can come in. Just lo try to loosen up about it and maybe um, just uh, do it once or twice a day. Don't overdo it. But um, let's talk about this strength card here reverse because it is clarified by the Lund Amica. So for the majority of you, this is not a good card. Um, Lunamika is a card where, you know, someone is being dishonest and someone is wearing um, a fake mask. They're um, maybe acting like your friend, but they're actually really hard or harsh to deal with. If this is an energy that you from come, has come back from the past and is offering you something, you know, just be aware um, Something's not what it seems. If it's an online dating thing that you're doing, then someone's wearing a false mask, okay? I see hidden behind the mask an energy that's quite nasty, okay, and mean and dirty and ruthless when it has to be, when it can be, and maybe all the time for some of you. So beware, okay? This is definitely an enemy in your camp. I would not trust this energy... Uh, I wouldn't trust it. That's my advice to you. If you're being strong-armed by anyone that you've met online, or to take uh, to to take some to take something, or to purchase something, um, it may be very pricey, very expensive. Wants a lot of money. The um, old lady represents a lot of wealth, or even retirement money. Um, so be careful with that. Beware of any fraudulent online identity scams because someone is telling you stories that are lies. So be wise and resist the pressure. Okay? But I do see you, unfortunately, I see a lot of you giving in to the pressure. I see a lot of you choosing to not see the truth with this Two of Swords. Um, you have a choice or a decision to make and you feel conflicted about it. If you would listen to your inner voice, it would tell you, but you don't want to, you don't really want to see the truth, I feel. Right now, you just want to kind of enjoy what's happening. The pleasantries are very nice. Um, but what you're dreaming of and what you're dealing with is wearing a mask. Please be aware of that. If you weren't aware of it, you are now. I just told you. I feel you would regret this involvement, and I feel, feel you would regret, regret this investment. 
okay? Someone may be trying to convince you that you're creative pals, that you're soulmates, that you're right for each other. Bullshit. Somewhere uh, underneath it all is just uh, a, a, an Ethiopian boy scamming you out of your money. Or a Nigerian boy scamming you out of your money. Or some other foreign, foreign third world child. It's fool's gold. Now, another story that I'm seeing is um, just be careful with your savings, okay? Don't let anyone convince you that, oh, yeah, when I get back, when I get in town, well, you know, I've got money, I'll pay you back or whatever. Uh, you've been warned. I see you falling into the trap, though. I see you dazed by the, um, the daydream of it all and um, fooled by the glitter of, of the gold. But hopefully you will... Um, Listen to this reading and pay attention to the advice. Another story that I'm getting is that some of you could be conflicted about your future. You want security, safety, retirement, right? But um, you could be feeling, not just feeling, but you could be actually being blocked by or restrained by an outside force, someone who is sabotaging you. Or, um, or it could be that your own creative blocks and lack of confidence is your own worst enemy and that's what's blocking your um, um, blocking your 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 goals or your money flow that's what you need to address that's what you need to overcome You're not channeling your energies in the right direction, and you may not be channeling your energies with the right people, especially people from your past or familiar situations. I would say try to try to look at it more logically and um, decide if it's right for you. And if it's not, don't deal with it anymore. I feel like you're faking your passion for something or someone. Trying to convince yourself because you're enamored by the gold and the glitter of it or the financial security that it would mean. But I don't feel you really I don't feel you really have mojo for this. Um, in the end, you can only fake it for so long. The mask will eventually come off. And um, then where will you be? So um Yeah, that's your reading, guys. I hope that that gave you some, some guidance. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the uh, like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my Patreon and support my channel financially. Um, and please help um, um, circulate the channel by sharing the links to this video uh, with your Facebook or social media network. Also, make sure to take and contribute, take part in and contribute um, take part in the uh, Lakshmi mantra video that I created. Um, it's infused with Reiki to give you a prosperity treatment and also if you chant along with it, it will increase your money vibration. So if you're wanting to increase your money flow, make sure you uh, take part in um, with the video. It's basically, you say the mantra along with the recording you chant along with the recording once a day at least once a day because you can do multiple days uh, multiple times a day uh, for um, 40, 40 days and then you should see changes and you may, will probably see changes before the 40 days is up but you you need to do it 40 days in a row that's the discipline so um, if you're wanting to um, increase and change your money vibration make sure to take part with that video all right and leave your comments um, about it as well okay guys thank you for tuning in we'll see you next week bye okay so if you pick the citrine then this is the uh, final reading for the day um, your money flow energy reading for the week of February 10th through the 17th you have the three of wands the four of pentacles 
and the full reversed. I'm using the uh, the spiral tarot today, and um, clarified with Lavira Sibylla. All right. So, um, three of wands. This is the energy of waiting, waiting on some kind of communication um, or the arrival of something. Uh, you've launched your ships, you're waiting for your ships to arrive in. Uh, you're expectantly waiting for something, some success or results to arrive. And you feel it's sure to arrive soon and you're sure that um, what will arrive will be positive for you um, based on the work and the efforts that you've put out or that you've done in the past. You're expecting new new connections to be found and made, maybe a contra new contract or a job or some money um, or s for your business idea or product to go over well and for something to take off. I feel you have a strong hope for the future or vision for the future um, about this um, potential that you're holding in front of you or that you're waiting on um, and you're ready to see to see it grow and develop and, and expand even more. Some of you may have an interview or a job interview or some type of presentation that you're going to have to be making in the near future in regards to this, this um, situation that you're waiting for that's about to come in. That's early in the week. Midweek we have the uh, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can represent holding on to money and security, uh, having um, having some something in your hands, right? And it makes you feel secure. It, it's in your possession. It's in the bank. Basically, something is in the bank. It's money in the bank, right? pretty much guaranteed, but is it? In this position, is it? Pensiero and Viaggio say an idea, a plan, um, a product, or your skills may be in question. Although the foundations are well laid and are strong, um, some kind of intellectual work is needed. Um, and in this Sibylla Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out of the camera. In the Sibylla, intellectual work can also represent artistic or computer work. Um, Viaggio also fell out when clarifying this Four of Pentacles. Viaggio, um, in this respect, is talking about the idea or the project um, or, or the thing that you're looking forward to um, has great merit and potential and can be successful if launched properly, if done right, but it still needs intellectual work, maybe creative or computer work, um, drafting, more clarification, right? It's a very innovative, maybe even ingenious idea, the cards are saying, and it will bring you prosperity in the future, but you need to have the resources to carry this out. Maybe that is the challenge, is to accumulate or save or to acquire somehow the resources to create this thing and carry it out. I feel like um, the challenge is to create the prototype and get your plan or your idea out into the world or to get the money that is needed to uh, achieve your future goals or vision. And that's what you're focused on. With the full reversed, uh, clarified by the peacock, this tells me that um, at at least for this week, you lack trust or belief or faith that by um, you're lacking. You come. You you you're inspired, right? You're waiting. You know that the when the right time comes, that this will be successful. But you may not feel like the time is now. You lack trust and faith and belief that now you can um, get a victory 
or that now is not the right time to put this plan or product or to start this this thing right if it's going to cost you money um, if it's going to cost you your precious valuable space I feel like there's something you don't want to let go of in order to make room for this new thing to come in that you've been waiting for. Um, you may get, um, you may begin to lack confidence about it and become fearful, even though you started off positive you may end up lacking confidence or getting fearful. I almost get like the impression of, you know, you have to make a presentation and the more you think about it, the more you start to get insecure and you start to think of all the things that could go wrong or of failure rather than success. So I feel like you're allowing your fears to... Uh, strangle or cut off your creative expression so be careful of that okay you're fearful of losing the security that you have internal or external financial or otherwise that you currently have but if you want things to improve then you're going to have to have a change of heart and you're going to have to loosen up and put yourself out there don't be afraid to step off the cliff, right? Don't be afraid to take a chance and don't be afraid to express yourself creatively. Don't hold back. Now, if this is a person, maybe an Aries or some other fire sign or maybe an earth sign energy, then maybe they could be what's holding you back or blocking you, right? Right? blocking your expression, making you maybe doubt yourself, right? Even though you you you're pretty sure this will this is a successful idea, that the way this is the way to go. Maybe something or someone comes along makes you doubt that. Um, don't listen because this energy is probably just jealous. Um, it's saying that all eyes are on you. You're shining right now. And the idea is very appealing. Um, they may just be jealous. There's really nothing to fear when you have the peacock in your reading, especially at the end of the reading. It's going to annihilate all the negative cards in the in the spread. Okay, and brings you invincible success. So it's saying that this idea that you're sitting on actually can lead to incredible prosperity and success for you, possibly even celebrity attention or all eyes being drawn to it, um, being something um, recognized and desirable by others. So don't hold yourself back from putting this idea out there, creating this prototype, from making this presentation or from launching this ship that you're planning to launch. Go ahead and... Um, invest in what doesn't seem secure a secure investment right invest in yourself because nobody else will all right so I also see this fool telling me that you may you want to work on on your self-esteem on your self-confidence maybe even on just your delivery maybe rehearse a little and strengthen yourself there so you don't get shy or feel intimidated when all eyes are on you if something's coming up around the end of the week where you're going to be in the public eye you know maybe do some rehearsing so you feel confident and comfortable and um, you don't uh, block your own flow okay so work on your confidence and your your own creative style. And don't be afraid to spend money on that. Maybe buy some clothes, um, buy a new wig, uh, get your hair did, get your nails done, what, some, whatever. You know, um, don't be afraid to dress up the package 
to spend some money on the packaging or to spend some money on your own packaging, if that makes sense. So I hope this reading um, helped some of you make a decision um, to go forward and um, to prosper this week, okay? And please make sure to check me out every week. And um, also I have a special video that I'm promoting. Um, I created a mantra um, video, a Lakshmi mantra video that is Reiki infused. I'm a Holy Fire Reiki master and it's Reiki infused to um, give you a prosperity treatment every time you chant along with it. You just have to chant along with the video um, for the next uh, every day, once a day, at least once a day for the next 40 days and then you will see a shift and an increase in your money flow. It's a tried and tested mantra. It's always worked for me and it's even more empowered by the uh, infusion of the Reiki within it. So um, I invite you all to take a listen. It does require discipline. You must do it on a daily basis and not miss a day for 40 days. And then you'll see the change. You'll probably see it even before the 40 days is up. So make sure to take part with that. Um, click on the like button if you like this video. Uh, leave your comments below. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, YouTube, and also subscribe to my Patreon. Contribute to the channel and help keep, keep the channel going. I do need your support. You can donate too. There's a donate button on the home page. Thank you all for everyone's help, contribution, for listening, for tuning in, for clicking. And I wish you all the best. I will see you next week. Blessings. Bye.